This is my ABI on City Hall, the place to get the latest news and updates straight from the City of Abilene. I'm Mari Cockrell, Communications Director for the City. Applications are now being accepted for the next Abilene Police Academy. Stay with us. We're going to visit with an APD officer about the job and hiring process in a moment. But to begin the application process, you can go to abilenepolice.org and click on the recruiting tab there at the top of the page or Go to AbileneTX.com, click Human Resources under the Departments tab, and there you'll find a link to information that breaks down the entire hiring process. Applications will be accepted through June 13th, and the Civil Service Entrance Examination is going to be held Saturday, June 26th at 9 a.m. at the Abilene Convention Center. The Abilene Taylor County Public Health District is continuing its COVID-19 vaccination clinics, and so clinics are now being held once a week at the Abilene Convention Center. And here for the month of May, clinics are set for the 13th, the 19th, and the 26th. Go to abilenetx.gov slash vaccine schedule to set up your appointment. Our streets department wants to remind everyone to download the See, Click, Fix app and use it to report potholes. Our recent days of extended rainfall, especially after the deep freeze that we had back in February, is the exact kind of weather that will expose or even worsen potholes out there. So our crews want to fill them as quickly as possible, and they welcome everyone's help in being their eyes out on the road. So just download that free See, Click, Fix app from your app store, or you can go and find it at abilenetx.gov. Submit a pothole from your desktop computer as well. The Abilene Zoo would like to invite all of our military and Dias friends and family out there, also retirees, to Zoo Loot. That's on May 15th. It's a full day of fun out at the zoo, completely free. So come out and enjoy the animals, the new Madagascar exhibit, and animal talks, food, much more. So again, that's May 15th out at the Abilene Zoo. Also, don't forget the city's flash pads are now running for the season at Redbud, Sears, Scarborough, Stevenson, and Nelson Parks. Adventure Cove Aquatic Center opens up May 29th. Registration also still open for Parks and Rec's Summer Kids Camp. So just go to myabilenparksandrec.com. We are joined today by uh, Sergeant Ramirez from Abilene Police Department. Thanks for being with us. Thank you for having me. Yeah, so we wanted to talk a little bit more about the hiring process, the police academy, because applications are now being accepted for what is going to be the 59th um, yeah, yes. academy class with, with APD. And so uh, first just want to kick things off and, and ask you, you know, because there's so much going on with police work right now and obviously mm -hmm. in, in headlines, but, you know, just tell us a little bit about what motivates you to get up every day. You've, you've been with APD for quite some time and what, where do you, you know, where does your enjoyment come for you and in, in, sure. in your work? Absolutely. Uh, so the best part about being a part of the Abilene Police Department is knowing that you serve in a community that truly loves and supports its officers. And I think that that is the best part of every single day is knowing that you're going to wake up and serve in that type of capacity where yeah. everybody truly knows, they understand, and they support what we do. Yeah, that is really nice. You know, I was able to um, be a part of Citizens Police Academy, which is uh -huh. a great experience if anyone's interested in yes. and, and wants to reach out to do that. And I was amazed to see how how many different areas of work are possible within being a police officer. You think, right. oh yeah, you know, pulling people over and what you see on, on TV or something, or what you think you see on, on cops if that, when that was airing. Right. Uh, but it's so interesting to see that um, even for those on patrol, that there's a lot of social work going on. You really develop Absolutely. a relationship with a lot of people you see out there that for being um, one of the officers who's responding to, to traffic accidents, for example, there's a lot of math and physics involved. There I never is. thought if I had a kiddo who's in, who liked math and physics, they might want to be a police officer. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. And every division has its own uh, qualifications and just kind of the intricacies of every actual division is great to see. And you really don't understand until you become a part of the police department or you get to go through a process like mm. you did. Uh, where you see the skill set that comes out from each actual individual. Yeah. Um, it's neat to see. It's a great experience. Obviously, we get to apply what we learned in school, you know, as yes. well. So it's neat. Yeah, yeah. And, and folks come from all backgrounds. And, and so yes. let's talk just a little bit about the application process because it is it's obviously going to be lengthy and rigorous because you got to right. get the, you know, the right fit out there. So yeah. um, just right now we're going into where you can submit an application. Mm -hmm. uh, what can folks expect beyond that? Sure. So as a part of Academy Class 59, uh, which has been in process since April the 26th, um, we are currently accepting these actual applications. You can submit your application online on abilenepolice.org or abilenetx.gov. Mm -hmm. um, 
You can expect the process to end in mid-June. On Saturday, June the 26th, we do have a civil service exam. Okay. Uh, that is the initial step in the process, right? Um, that will be emailed out to the applicants at a later time. Okay. Uh, but because of the time restraints that ends in mid-June, we highly encourage all of the applicants to get their applications submitted as soon as possible. Okay, gotcha. And with that test, is that something they're going to need to be studying and preparing for, or is it you want to kind of go in cold turkey and see how sure. you do? Sure. Uh, so we usually recommend not to uh, try to study for the test. There's really not study material mm. out there. Uh, that will really, you know, greatly benefit you. Yeah. Uh, so we just encourage everyone to to uh, join us on that day. Use what you have learned in your actual knowledge from school, okay. maybe from college, and just try to apply that to the test that yeah. day. Yeah. Well, that's nice to know that you're really looking sort of just for your natural aptitude. Things. Absolutely. Okay. Right. And then beyond that, and I know this is all on the website, and, and we've got that here on the screen and, and all for folks to see, but that outlines the whole process beyond that. But then you're going to get into, you know, background checks, physical, sure. physical exams, right. and those kind of things too. Right. So it goes from the civil service exam to the backgrounds, and then ultimately you're going to have some physical fitness tests, okay. uh, some actual mental tests. Um, things of that nature. Okay. But again, that first step in the process is to get your application submitted. So yeah. don't forget, we have to do that as soon as possible. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and I believe, and I think I saw this on the website too, that it's January time that the class would, the cadet class would actually come together. Correct. Form. January of 2022. Okay. Yes. And then just, uh, I guess my one little curiosity tidbit, when it gets into those later tests of mental, physical, all that, um, is that something that people, you need to be physically fit, clearly, but is that something right. people should be too intimidated about, or how do you, how would you tell people to, to prepare for that? <laughs> yeah, no, that's a great question. I don't think that you need to be completely intimidated. Okay. You do absolutely need to start working out now. If you are thinking about making the jump into law enforcement, start running, start doing some type of high intensity training, that's mm -hmm. something that you're going to be doing every single day of the academy, but it's absolutely something that every individual can do. So yeah. okay. definitely don't let that uh, stop you from uh, pursuing that goal. Yeah, all right. Yeah. Awesome. Well, hopefully we get to visit with you some more too as, as you guys get closer to the application deadline and more about, yes. about the job. But thank you for coming out. I know this is your, usually your sleep time. It is, yeah, so <laughs> it's okay. Uh, I'm here, and, and again, if you want to uh, submit your application, please go to ablingpolice.org or ablingtx.gov. We, uh, we'd be happy to work with you. Awesome, thanks so much. Again, ablingtx.gov is the place to go. This is Maya ABI on City Hall. Visit ablingtx.gov slash notify me to sign up for news alerts from the city straight to your inbox or text.